Hello, my name is Aftermath and welcome to a short rant. I wanted to say something about recent rumors about the PlayStation 4K. The PlayStation 4K, of course, is an upgraded version of the PlayStation 4 that allows for 4K gameplay, which means 4K resolution, which means 60 FPS, of course. And that is supposed to happen because of better virtual reality experience and better gaming experience. Now, that has a lot of positive sides, but mainly it has the side that people can enjoy, and if the rumors are true, for not much more money, uh, a very much more clear picture, a very better looking game for very little, little effort. And for somebody like me who contemplated buying a PS4 but doesn't actually have one, this might actually be the reason to finally get one. Now, uh, there's of course a few bad things about that and I really want to talk about them instead. Like for example, imagine, like first of all, what I'm saying now will become completely and utterly void if the PS4K either never releases or Sony promises to never release a 4K exclusive game and then sticks to that promise. But basically, what happens if you cannot get a PS4K for your PS4? Now, I imagine it's good that GameStop is a thing, because this is a great way to, for them to play a little bit of a profit game and get sales and get customers into their store by just taking your PS4, giving you a PS4K. Of course, they will take a little bit more money because it's more expensive, but they can do that and they get more customers and that's a great way to do that. However, what is that? Is, is that a solution for everybody? Is it just a solution to go to GameStop for everybody and just give them a PS4 and maybe, let's say, 50 bucks more? It really isn't. Because there's a little bit of a problem. The PS4 is available in over 50 countries. GameStop isn't. GameStop is available in only 17 countries. So that means there's at least 40 countries that will not have the privilege of just going to a game store. Even worse, countries like Bulgaria, which was the friend that raised this point in the first place, didn't even have Amazon until two months ago. Some countries don't have dedicated retail stores or GameStop-ish stores. They don't have that. So it ends up that those people have to sell those consoles on eBay. And if PlayStation 4K gets released, and let's say it costs $400 and the PlayStation 4 costs $350, why would you exactly try to sell, like, GameStop would take it for $300 and ask you for $100, that would be kind of fair, but I don't think you can sell a PS4 for $300 on eBay then, because why would people play $300 x um, PS4 if they can just say, um, buy $100 more for more games and a better high quality um, nobody really would buy that except a very select few that actually just want to play a few PS4 games. But as soon as exclusives come into the market, like let's say with the Nintendo 3DS compared to the normal 3 um, Nintendo 3 MDS, then people are more likely to actually buy the PS4K instead of a PS4, and it's going to be hard to get rid of it for an actually fair price. Now, of course, that doesn't affect everybody, but we shouldn't dismiss that because we have a lot of gamers outside of the hubs of gaming, like America, Germany, France, and UK. And we have, of course, a lot of gamers that don't have access to dedicated retail stores. Of course, those gamers, they need love too, and they, they make a majority of our gamers. Like, they, have not, they are not a minority that much. Like, I guess, going by everything that I've seen, uh, people outside of Germany, um, uh, UK, France, and every single GameStop country are still 30% of our player base. Now, Everybody who bought a PS4 at first day, as soon as they are exclusives, will bite his ass in those countries because it was a colossal waste of money for them. And those countries, they don't earn a lot. My buddy in Bulgaria says his monthly salary is $450, and for $450 he lives a pretty healthy lifestyle. While with $450 you can't survive in Germany if you have to pay your rents. They can't survive in Bulgaria, and that's uh, something you can't dismiss because with $450 you can't just buy a PS4, a new one, just for a little bit of higher quality or games that you wouldn't miss. And he's looking forward to PlayStation VR, and so am I, because it looks amazing, just like Oculus Rift and Vive looks amazing. And if you can't play the later iteration of games on a normal PS4 because they become too high quality, well, that's, that's, that kind of sucks. So, of course, this whole point becomes moot if the PlayStation 4 releases completely normal. And, and they, they promise to never make exclusive games for the PS4K. But realistically speaking, if the PS4K happens, it's going to be somewhat like the Nintendo 3DS and there will be exclusives just because the hardware is stronger. It makes no sense for them to hold back all the major game developers just because of fairness. Um, corporations can be nice to customers, but most of the time they still are corporations. Uh, I'm not saying Sony is greedy, but I'm saying it actually makes a lot of sense in that to have um to have exclusives just as for example as a system seller uh, because that is a system seller for ps4 in general if you have an exclusive amazing looking 4k game the xbox one doesn't have that 
Um, that's where I think uh, Sony needs to really be careful what they're doing. And and while still, I personally hope the PS4K is going to happen because I'm looking to get one anyway. Thanks for watching. My name is Aftermath, and I hope you enjoyed this rant. See you guys next time. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and tell me what you think about the PS4K situation down below. Um, see you guys next time.